Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Anna Mae. Today I'm going to be doing a little review of the Revlon One Step drying brush that has a lot of my hair in it, but I have a lot of hair so I tried to clean it. So if you weren't aware, Revlon came out with a like hair dryer paddle brush a good few months ago, like I'd say almost a year ago, correct me if I'm wrong. And then in more recent months they came out with this. The round brush version. It's, a, it's an oval, <laughs> not exactly a circle, but it was kind of to solve the issue of trying to round brush your own hair um, because that's really difficult for most people. So they created this. Um, it is $59, I believe. <laughs> um, I bought mine in the US, but I know it is available in the UK and Ireland as well because my mom's gonna buy one because I'll get to that. I guess I'll just kind of tell you about my experience. My mom, she tried out this one and her experience and whether or not I think it's worth it. So I want to preface this by saying that I have very frizzy hair naturally. Um, it's very frizzy and it can be quite curly if I treat it the right way but you don't always know what way that is because it's, it's not curly, it's wavy. I will correct that um, but it's it can be very very wavy like quite tight waves um, if I, I'll insert a picture of my natural hair actually because I was like I wonder is using this like really damaging my hair and kind of killing all the waves clearly not um, and that happened again like two days ago so it's thankfully not like killing my hair but I never blow dry my hair like ever um, I didn't I didn't have a blow dryer here, that's why I thought this was good, especially in the winter if I wanted to wash my hair in the morning and then go out somewhere during the day, especially the weekends. So I thought it would be worth a try and yeah, I think it has been worth the try, honestly. Um, I used it today and you can see like my hair is like, for seeing what my natural hair was, and yes, my hair is really long, um, so you can still see the wave in it, but like, that's fine by me, it's because, you know, it's not a straightener, but it is gives a pretty good result. Like it gives much smoother hair, and for me, it's great for like drying my hair in preparation to use a curling iron, like to use it like a wand, um, because it get, gives you that smoothness. My mom, however, so you can see my hair is very long. My mom has hair to about here. It's also darker, less frizzy naturally. If you know, lighter hair colors are typically more prone to things like that, um, and she loved it. It works really really well if you're someone who has like hair to hair, layers, things like that. Um, and yeah, I think if I insert the video over this and I'll just like talk over it of me using this, um, I'm gonna guess you can see that it's still a struggle with having such long hair. Um, but I will say a major pro of this is that it does get stuck in my hair at all. Um, which is really really good because I've had professionals get multiple round brushes stuck in my hair and, and like multiple professionals um, it wasn't like a one-time thing I frequently have gotten round brushes stuck in my hair um, and hairdressers so I I had tried it at home before as well but I was always so scared because of all the experiences I'd had but this makes it so so easy as for the price, do I think it's worth it for the price? I'm not sure, but it is really great. Like, compared to a lot of other hair dryers, you know, if you kind of, if you have hair that you just want to be able to dry really quickly, this is the thing for you. You know, it's definitely worth the try because it dries my hair so quick. You can get it right at the root. I always use it on the low setting. So there's a cool, low and high. Uh, mostly because it's quieter, I hate super loud noises, so I use it on low and um, I just like, I just like bring it through your hair like a brush. You can see I have the like most snarly, knotty hair, but like it goes through my hair pretty well. Another thing I will say it's great for, and um, anyone who's into hair, please don't kill me for doing this, but I have recently been using Sun In, you can probably tell a little bit, because uh, it's really really expensive to get your hair done here, especially like I'm in Manhattan, so No, basically <laughs> I'm mad about it So and I don't currently have an income because I'm an unpaid intern because I'm 
interning at the United Nations. Follow me on Instagram and here if you want to hear more about that. But um, yeah, I've been using it because with sun in, you can either lie in the sun or you can apply heat. And for me, before like blow drying my hair just turned me into like a Christmas tree. And it was really rough on my hair. But this, you're really applying like direct heat onto your hair and while drying it. So it's like the perfect mixture. So it's like really, really amazing for using sun in. So that's just like an unexpected part. I've been talking with this in my hand the whole time. Oh, that's another thing I want to say. It's huge. Um, I had seen, like I watched a bunch of reviews before I bought this on YouTube. And one thing, I don't remember anyone saying, like this is like literally how big it is compared to my head. Like, I don't know. Let me grab this thing of Tide, right? Do you see? Like it's really large. Um, like when I took it out of the packaging first, I was like, oh my God, it's like a club. Like it's really massive, but you know, it's not that heavy and you do get used to it. You know, it has to be that size or whatever. So that is it. My quick little review of the Revlon One Step the round brush version. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer them and subscribe to my channel for more from me. I'll see you in my next video.